bit of this. Hello and welcome to the Camera Tits 2 podcast number 20. Dude, my camera looks weird today. Like, I look like, like, a, like a ghost right now. This is yeah. nothing new. I didn't change anything. But, like, my face looks like paste or oil. This is just freaking weird. You get a tan, mate. Yeah, I I need to replace that light up there. Anyways, um, <clears throat> we are a entertainment podcast that mostly focuses on PlayStation, Destiny, uh, superhero stuff, comics, TV. I am one of your hosts, TBCAC, but you can call me Teddy. I have along with me here today, Eric, the man of the week every week. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> He's not feeling too good today. He's got a little bit of a... A nasal yeah. thing going on, if you know what I'm saying. It's sort of fun here. Yeah. So, so here's my voice. Here is your voice. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> we're. This is gonna be a little bit more of a, a low key hanging out podcast because Eric is not. You know, he's got the nasal thing, and I am just really frustrated with Uncharted Three right now. So it, it's gonna be <laughs> crushing you. <laughs> yes, it is uh. the crushing difficulty is crushing if you can imagine um you are an aurux on the google uh, doc right now that's actually pretty cool yeah. i have no idea what that thing is i'm gonna google it <clears throat> also before we get into what we've been playing like we do every week i love how i'm doing so many visual cues for a podcast that i'm announcing that we are officially on itunes <laughs> yeah, yeah. but if you're not watching on itunes look at this aurux <laughs> Um, yeah. he is the beast of the southern wild, apparently. Oh, it's a Game of Thrones thing. Wait, really? Apparently. Let me see this. I don't know. I just googled it. One of the top sections says Game of Thrones. How do you spell it? It's like a cow with... It's A-U-R-O-C-H-S. Um, it's like a cow, but like with twirly goat horns and way more muscly. Hmm. And... Giant, also really freaking huge. How is it a Game of Thrones thing? <laughs> I don't know. Just put I mean, on I've Google Images. In, uh, and then click it. Yeah, I I have no... <laughs> Dude, I click Game of Thrones, and <clears throat> the first screenshot is from Lord of the Rings Online. What is life right now? Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, anyways, so yeah, that's your daily dose of Aurex. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, they're like giant things okay yeah there. they're they're freaking huge it looks like um so yeah congratulations eric you you are an rx but cool. also yeah we're on itunes mate finally officially last week we were on itunes but like i got it on itunes after we had recorded last week's so right. or or maybe even monday morning it was either monday morning or sunday night I looked on. I checked my email, and uh, they said we were on there. So I put up episode nineteen. This is episode twenty, by the way. If I didn't say it. so, twenty of these. Right. Dang. Yeah, it's twenty. Twenty, dude. I'm not doing the gameplay thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm not doing it. But uh, yeah, episode twenty. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. I like that. I don't know. I like that we've done so many of these. Every single week, we've only missed one week for twenty weeks in a row. We've only missed one. You could have not missed that week. I <laughs> refuse to say that that is a fact of life. I refuse. We were in my house for exactly like several hours. Exactly. We could have done something. <laughs> but that's the reason why we couldn't have done something. <laughs> uh, we've been we've been over this, mate. I don't think we could have. Um. Yeah, it wasn't a normal <clears throat> thing, so it would have taken yeah. us a while to figure it out. But, so what have we been playing? I was just talking about how I've been playing. Okay, okay. So, actually, let's start off with this. Eric has suddenly, the other night, he just decided, he seemed to get more of an interest in trophies. We were talking on Facebook messaging, and he he just, I could tell from the way he was talking, he was just sort of like, hmm, maybe if I do this, and ooh, maybe I could get more There's if I do And he was here. just, like, sort of getting a little bit of an interest. And I'm like, <clears throat> oh, crap, man. He, it, he's... It's a lot better than achievements because it's an, an achievements on Xbox. It's just numbers and yeah. stuff. I mean, and I like, I like the gamer score. You get something, 
And it's a trophy. I like a, platinums. That's what I like. Because on Xbox, you, you can look at their gamer score, and you can't, like, see how many 100%s they have. Like, if you well, yeah. look at our profile, I can see how many platinums you have super yeah, easily. True. It's just, I don't know. I like platinums a lot. They're cool. Yeah. But, so, <laughs> I, I read all those messages last night, and I was like, oh, no, man. Eric can't get more platinums than me after <laughs> I had I my freaking playstation for like five years and he's had it for like one year i can't let him get more platinums so i jumped back on uncharted 3 and i'm trying to power through the crushing mode because three more trophies are bloodborne to get oh my gosh you're gonna get bloodborne before i get uncharted Wait. unless yours are super hard too which is well possible. there's one that's super hard is i have to progress through the chalice dungeons and kill the final boss which is kind of hard yeah uh, and then there's one with collecting all of the weapons in the game. That one's not too hard. I just have to farm a little and yeah. buy it. <clears throat> yeah. That doesn't seem too bad. I also um, have to find a re- really rare gem. Okay. That seems like it'll it'll take up. I That seems it'll about the same amount of time that it would take for me to get crushing and do the other trophies. So we'll yeah. see who gets the platinum <laughs> on our respective games first. It's a see, race, you're mate. Be, you're going to have four now, and I'll have three. Yeah. Yeah, but that's the I point. I'm trying light. to stay one ahead of you. Yeah, and I can never do first light. I tried and I gave up. I, I tried and I legitimately tried <laughs> for like three like, days. And hey, I was like, no. Nah, pretty easy. Can't do this. Yeah, Andrew says it's super easy. I think Fleabag said it was easy. No, Fleabag said he had, he had a little bit of a hard time, but it wasn't. But he still has it. Fleabag has two platinums, by the way, which is actually he might have three now. Which because is because of, of Destiny. But before he had Second Sun and First Light. Like, those were his platinums. Yeah. Which is awesome, <laughs> um, so yeah, dude. Well, it, it's a it's a freaking race. You're on. But the thing <laughs> is, is like, I'm. St- you might, ha- you could easily get more platinums than me, but yeah. I would still be ahead in the trophy levels, and that's what matters. Because, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, because, okay. uh, yeah, I got, I got a, you know, I got a ton of trophies. Plethora of games on yeah. both systems. Yeah, just because. You know, that's what I've had forever. So I have, I think I actually do have like a thousand two hundred. Yeah, my my trophy level is thirteen with twenty percent. See, you kind of yeah, you gotta count the percentage because otherwise, like you could say, I could be on because when you get into the higher ones, like let's say Mm. I'm on twenty, you also gotta count, and then I'm up against somebody else who's on twenty. You know, there there's a big difference between 20 and 80 percent, and 20 and 20 percent. There's a huge difference there. It's true. So you gotta count the percentages. But yeah, yeah I'm on 13 and 20. You're on seven, I think. Which yeah. isn't bad because you were on like five earlier, like a couple of months ago, and you I mean, stepped yeah, it well, up. At one, was, <clears throat> at one point, I was zero. Yeah. Well, it, it, at one point we were all zero. This is <laughs> this is how math works. Yep. I love this though. Let's see if the camera picks this up. Let's let's look at it. Oh my gosh. Destiny 100%. Look at the platinum symbol. It's right there. Oh, look at it. Sorry. But oh yeah, you know. Uh news, I guess for us. We me, Eric, Ryan, Fleabag, J Money and Tayson, which are Fleabag, J Money and Tayson are our PSN friends, we sat down and for like two or three hours we attempted to get Flawless Raider and we got it. Was and very, was very, very pessimistic. I was very realistic about it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, we do. We, if you believe in yourself, we can do anything. <laughs> yeah, this is true. But you know, we could have easily died on the Death Singer or the Crota. It just happens. Like we, we got <laughs> that freaking cursed First thrall almost that. ended it. You know. Dude. Well, yeah, it's, yeah, it's that, just, that it was, I ran by. Yeah, I was, I, that's what I'm saying is just, I don't know, it, it could happen. It, and I was prepping you, I was mostly prepping you and Ryan for it because you and Ryan are like, oh, we're doing this again. And I'm like, guys, we're not going to get it instantly. <laughs> so I was mostly prepping no, you guys to. I like, wasn't. I wasn't even upset about like dying from like the bridge. I was upset about dying in the beginning. Yeah, the beginning was dumb. <laughs> yeah, by the way, people who are planning on doing Flawless Raider on Destiny, um, do it on Crota's End normal, but 
be aware that when you jump down in the beginning part, you can easily just die. And there is start. like a 50% it's chance of dying yeah, every time. It's completely luck. Like, we did it the first two or three times, probably three or four, and yeah. nobody died. And then we went back My in for like the fourth or fifth, and it was like four times in a row. We just kept having to restart. Cause... <laughs> it was kind of funny at first. And then yeah, and then we're like, stop <laughs> it. We want to continue. But then well, the best thing about our run, I think, is that the first time we got past the bridge, we did it. Yeah. We didn't have to, we didn't, we didn't have to yeah, beat we the didn't... bridge a second time. Or yeah, the, or the, or the Death Singer. Or the Death Singer or the Crota, yeah. We did yeah. everything in that one shot. Yeah, that's why I was I so nervous because person. after we got the – because we kept getting to the bridge and then, like, you know, stopping. <laughs> Um, like, or something happening. We got to the bridge either two or three times, and then we died. Yeah, the and then, time, I think we Okay, yeah. And, course. but, like, you know, I, that's why I was so happy, because we had been getting the bridge for, like, an hour and a half or something. And then we finally got past the bridge, and I was like, oh, snap, something better not happen, because this is the farthest we've been. And I was like yeah. that all up until Crota, and then we freaking wrecked his face in. Yeah, you have, you have no idea how I felt being the sword bearers. Ugh. Oh. Intense. Dude. Uh, Honestly, and dude, we haven't played Destiny in like weeks, yeah, so that was like the people, most. It's really impressive. Yeah, people who are considering going for that, like, do because if if you're a hardcore Destiny player and you're like burnt out right now and playing other games, like almost everyone is who was and is a hardcore Destiny player, they like sit down with your your clan or whatever and for real go for that because yeah. it is very it makes the raid a completely different experience <laughs> that's what's so cool about it like it, it felt like we were doing the raid for the first time like yeah. we finished and we all screamed like we did when we beat crota the first time because we we're all <laughs> super excited too bad you do the stream yet mate <laughs> yeah yeah i don't know mate my streaming days are mostly Pitch. over i still want to stream every now and then like maybe I might stream like once a week. I've been thinking about that, but yeah, um, job now and all that. I Jenner mate the dude that uh, me yeah. and him have been talking. We're we're like I don't know, we like talking to each other. We got similar interests and whatnot. He's got uh, we we've been we talked about The Walking Dead and whatnot, and ah. he got his console to work with the Elgato, whereas before it didn't. So. Uh, yeah, maybe me and him will do a awesome. dual stream again. So that'd be cool. Yeah, I have three platinums now, and Eric has two. So yeah, we're we're moving. And honestly, I think it was that that got us like thinking about it more. I don't know about you. When I finished and I got that one hundred percent, I went to bed and I was like, "Oh man, that like seriously, the <laughs> feeling of getting a one hundred percent of just platinum yeah. everything." on a game that you've been playing for so long and you've, right. like, really worked at was, like, honestly one of the best feelings I've ever felt. And that's not exaggerating. I, I, I went to bed and I was like, oh, man, I really gotta... Oh, I'm gonna... I gotta start doing that with some other games. I gotta start... I really gotta get <laughs> some more of those. Dude, so, I think yeah. Bloodborne's, Bloodborne's uh, Platinum is really fun. I'll say that. Yeah. Bloodborne's an awesome <clears throat> game. Because... Pretty much all it is is finding a few items, collecting everything, and then beating all the bosses. Yeah. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, I like it. I will go for that <clears throat> one day eventually. <laughs> one I day. will maybe Dude, beat Bloodborne game plus one day is hard. Eventually. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah, I would imagine. Dude, it's like playing, you get so used to like <clears throat> killing everything in like one shot or maybe two or three, and then right when it puts you in a new game, the first guy you 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 come up to takes you like five sword swipes and you're like, yeah. what's going on? I'm a noob again. <laughs> That's great. Bloodborne's awesome. Um, so yeah, dude, I will. I gotta. I gotta beat you. That's the. That's the summary of this. I gotta beat you before yeah. you get your Bloodborne platinum. I gotta get my Uncharted platinum. Yeah, I've, and I've honestly, been... I really have to get my Uncharted platinum just because I've been going yeah. for that for freaking right. years. True. Years. So I just got to freaking do it. And it's not that bad. Once I just – one of the things I've actually learned recently too is that I used to take my time with games. You know, like, I don't know. I got, Ark I got Arkham City. I just took my time through it or whatever. But, like, now 
I know how games work more than I used to, I guess you can say. I don't know. So I've been sitting down and I've been taking like a Alfredo plays streamer mentality <laughs> to games where yeah. I just sit down and I'm like, all right, I am, uh, I'm going to be playing this game for the next three hours. Go. And I just like try and go super hard in the game for the next three hours. And that actually works instead of just like, uh, uh, oh, I finished a chapter. Let's check Facebook. Stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I've been, I don't know. Like, I sat down and played Uncharted for only an hour and a half last night, and I got through, like, a chapter and a half, whereas normally I'm on a chapter for, like, a while. But, so, I, once yeah. I finish this crushing, I will have, I think it was four trophies, but I didn't want to, like, they're not hard. One of them's, like, right kill 50 enemies without ever auto reloading like in a row so i just have to okay. be sure to reload myself which isn't too big of a deal and then another is like um mm, i think one is sidearm master where you have to kill 30 enemies in a row with your sidearm and like you can't you know switch or anything um <coughs> and then two others pretty similar to that so once i finish crushing i'll go go back and clean that up but crushing is definitely the hardest one all right yeah Enough of uh, that. What else have have we been playing uh, other than Destiny and <clears throat> Uncharted and Bloodborne? Oh, Borderlands Two. Borderlands Two Here's on the handsome collection. collection. Yeah, is amazing. <laughs> it's a great game. So good. I really want to finish that too. I want to finish so many games, um, but for real, that game is freaking awesome. I I really 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 like that <clears throat> game. I've been enjoying that a lot. Um, yeah. Borderlands. I'm trying to think for me if there was any others. I don't think so. I think that was mainly it. I don't know. I've been playing. I uh, mostly Destiny. Get that trophy. Yeah. And other than Blood that. One, and then Borderlands. Okay. Also, I decided to get back in RuneScape because of I got a lot of TV shows to watch. Yeah. You know? Yeah, got that on the side. Okay. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Not as much of a variety as usual, but at the same time, a little bit more of a variety. I normally play a little bit more, but I like that I'm trimming down because I'm just going to go hard on these games and actually finish right. them, and then I'll go hard on some more games. So I like it. Um, let's talk about some news. Mate, I don't know what that little drum roll was. The news. The, new, the news <laughs> drum roll, yeah. Um, let's see. What do we want to talk about first? Oh, I'll just toss this out here. <laughs> what? what? I was looking at the GTA 5 thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty insane. Well, since you laughed and, you know, pointed that out. I'm sorry. That's it's just... ridiculous. Um, I found this today. G... And then this is why we're going all digital, by the way. This is why the future is digital. Because yes. the GTA five for PC, you know, the you know, they still sell PC retail like discs. Not often, but they still do. Like no one buys them, but they still make them. Somebody's gotta buy them, I guess. But the one for GTA five takes up seven discs. <laughs> seven seven That's discs. hilarious. Yeah. I'm sorry. This is... Here, here's a picture of it. Uh... <laughs> here's a picture of this. Seven discs. <clears throat> that is ridiculous. It's like it's literally like a box set where you unfold it and there's oh four God. different things. <laughs> oh my God. That is just yeah, so... it's, that's crazy. <laughs> so yeah, if you, I don't know, you, what are you doing if you're buying GTA Five on on retail? Seriously, for PC? if you. If you're gonna get GTA 5 on PC, you're probably gonna have like a two terabyte hard drive. Yeah, you're gonna be like modding it. It's gonna be yeah. So, I just thought that was interesting and weird. Hilarious. Yeah, and and very very funny. Seriously bad. Um, <laughs> so let's <clears throat> say here. What do we? Oh, I'll toss out Star Wars Celebration, which is where we will be seeing the Star Wars Battlefront tra um gameplay probably. Um. Is happening this upcoming Thursday through next Sunday, so right. just tossing that out there. We will have battle. We're gonna Hope... see uh, Battlefront. Yeah, dude. 
Hopefully, we'll have Battlefront to talk about. Oh, next we'll have yeah, we'll have gameplay. Oh my gosh, O M G. Yeah, Becky. Dude. I am excited because they're they're doing it on a whole new engine, and Dice is known for their engines. Yeah, so. yeah, dude. That's <clears throat> with Frostbite. That's crazy. <laughs> I think it's gonna be on three. So I don't think they're making a complete new engine, but they're making. A whole new game with different mechanics on it. Yeah. Instead of Battlefield. Yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I'm very, I don't know, I'm skeptical because yeah, I'm not a big fan of Battlefront or Battlefield mechanics. Just as well, like gunplay. Well, not gonna make it. Yeah, I, I'm, I really I mean, hope that they'll make it a lot different. It's either gonna be a lot like which Battlefront is cool. Field, or it's gonna be nothing like it. That's yeah, that's I'm true. Thinking. That's true. So. Mm. I don't know. I, it'll be very interesting, and we've literally seen nothing about that game since it was Besides like talked about. Teaser. We saw, it, but see, I don't know if that even that doesn't that doesn't really I mean, yeah, freaking seen, count. We've seen in game <laughs> like uh like but renders. We've seen in game renders of the dude on the speeder through the forest of Nendor. Yeah, but that was like a year ago. I I like I will no, bet yeah, you money probably. that that will that that's not what the game looks like. Like graphically, I bet it doesn't Why? look that good, because that happens. They they make like they literally developers spend time making a trailer or a little block of gameplay to show a to show yeah. at a conference. They spend time buffing that up, making it look really good, and then they go to the actual game. Sometimes they and do they that before the even well. game is really on its way. You know, yeah. Watch Dogs. Well. The- <laughs> just saying like that's how it works yeah. so i mean i bet it'll look very similar but like nowhere no like not not exactly well as i as, i know? still i have faith in that because when when they put out stuff for battlefield three and four it looked exactly the also same. it said early access alpha yes. it's a pre-alpha yeah. footage it's like earliest... so like i don't know if we can even take anything out of that you know what i mean <laughs> pre-alpha pretty crazy but yeah we'll get our first actual like taste of that game soon which is crazy very soon yeah. very soon um let's talk about the bungee weekly update and then get into the some some of the All actual right. news um bungee <clears throat> weekly update the main thing that they talked about was the pvp ammunition right. boxes that they want to I don't know. They they want to make people actually care Weary about their, their special their ammo. Yeah. Cyber ammo. Yeah, yeah. They they don't want people to just <clears throat> view it as their primary, which is interesting. Right. It's kind of true though, because you know you're walking through the the map and you there's never a time where you're really worrying about special ammo. If you don't have any, you just go over and pick up a box. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Uh, one of the things is that they're also increasing the area of when people pick up that box for their teammates, like for the heavy ammo, like you can be a little bit further away now and your teammate will pick it up cool. and you'll still get it, which is Fire. awesome because the distance for that is gross. Just toss you, that out. You, you, know, the, you can see in front of you and then they take it and it's gone. And it, yeah. Like literally you're looking at it and it, it doesn't, it doesn't give it to you. And it's dumb. Does, it it yeah. only needs to be pushed out a little bit though. You know, it doesn't yeah. need to be super far away. Like Just crossed. literally don't <laughs> make it stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. Yeah. Um, let's see. What else did they talk about? They also talked about Locked how, <laughs> yeah, you can lock exotics now, which is yeah. cool. I think it is only exotics actually, but it's still all right. But you can lock them so that people don't like automatically dismantle them or accidentally not accidentally, automatically. Yeah. I mean, so, a lot of people. You know, I've heard someone accidentally uh, <laughs> dismantle their fate bringer. Gosh. What a suck. nightmare, dude! What a freaking nightmare! Yeah. Like I've, heard, you know, you, we've heard stories of people where like they're like, "Oh, my kid came in the room and they they right. they dismantled something and thought it looked cool, and then I came in the room five minutes later and all of my gear was gone." Like, Man. or people who people have done this before where they like hack where they ask for someone's share play and <laughs> yeah. then they literally just oh, delete everything. That's so why that doesn't give you anything like what a, I don't get that. What a nightmare, dude. It really 600 is. 100 hours 
I I don't know if I could continue. You know what I mean? I just I don't know if I, mean, I could. If it was around if it was if that happened to me and it was around House of Wolves, I could probably still deal with it. But... Yeah. Just... That's so that that's so demoralizing though. Like if that happened to me right now, right now I'd be like I'm I'm done. No, you would not play. You would not play for it until maybe House of Wolves. Until goes. yeah, and House of Wolves, I might be like, all right, I guess I'll jump in and soon. <laughs> right. I'd be like so bitter. Oh, that'd be gross. Salty. Just yes, yeah, so much salt. Maximum salt, dude. Maximum salt. Um. <laughs> uh, so one more thing that they were talking about that's gonna be in one point one point two. Um, you can add it so that when you're in the tower, it says where in social spaces or remove in social spaces. Yeah, your so helmet. You can, yeah, so you can have your uh, your helmet on in the tower. Which is cool. It's I want to show off my Saint sh- 14. To be honest, I wish there was only a setting that said where if you're wearing an exotic. You know? Like, <clears throat> like if you're wearing an exotic, it automatically shows. But if you're wearing a legendary, it doesn't show. Yeah. But no, that's cool. I, I think there's some rare uh, armor that looks better than some exotics, you know? Yeah. I've seen some really cool armor that is rare. So. Yeah, that is rare for that to happen, <laughs> but <laughs> it does happen. So, at the end, he said, The final deployment of 1.1.2 will clear the way for some other exciting reveals. Um, that's not what I was wanting to say. <laughs> it says there's nothing left to say about the next Destiny update aside from the fact that you'll download it soon. Thanks for yeah. following along with the shipping manifest um, we've itemizing lately. Yeah. So, so um, what what are we what are we getting so far in this update? Everything the that they've been highlighting for the past four weeks. So we got the sound options. Yeah, dude. Honestly, this update's gonna be kind of huge it's kind of huge yeah yeah there's a lot of stuff in it yeah no i know you're like really upset about them releasing i don't know not releasing them when it's fixed but they're trying to make everything's like worked out before they push everything out in one go yeah i guess and so something something, like if they put the helmet thing what if it breaks this thing yeah Yeah. it's true i don't know if they lock the exotics, we might mess something up in the vaults or something. What if <laughs> exotics are permanently locked? Duplicated, you know, or the du- yeah, permanently yeah. locked. Or you go to lock and it dismantles. What? <laughs> what would that? Yeah. Oh, dude, that would yeah. be the worst. The first thing you do is you're like, all right, time to lock my Galhorn, and it's gone. <laughs> oh, it just disappears. Yeah, it's not even a dismantle. It just like it just turns into two ascendant energy. <laughs> <laughs> what if? That would freaking be the worst. Oh, my Uh, gosh. So, also, I have one more thing to read about Bungie before we move on to something else. I was listening to Destiny Planet podcast. That's a good Destiny Planet podcast. They had Deej on, and it was amazing. And this is a quote that I took from Deej. So, he said, I know that there are better ways to tell about House of Wolves than just writing a sentence on a blog. So we've got some fun things that we're planning to begin that conversation. And if you can hang in there, that conversation is going to begin real soon. Yeah. So trailer, hopefully yeah, trailer by good. the next time we talk. Probably not. <clears throat> Probably Maybe. two weeks. But. Um, dude, Gajula horn. Gajula horn. Gajula horn. So, yeah, I thought that was funny. DJ's. just. Yep. Making a joke about how you, you he says that's how you should pronounce it. <laughs> uh, I couldn't believe it though. There were some weird pronunciations in freaking yeah, nah. Halo. I was calling it a Galahorn. <laughs> I don't know if I will like if Bungie does not have an official statement about how you should pronounce it. I, it came I, right from Deej, so yeah. I don't know if there's anything more I, official. Than yeah, that. and with and it was obviously like a joke, so I'm like, pff, I you know I it's, it's Galahorn. He said Gajila Horn, mate. Gajila Horn. It was a joke. <laughs> and they literally like go back and listen. You'll you'll see. They they start yeah, they <clears throat> they laugh about it. And like whenever somebody Deej later says Galahorn and then he's like, Hey man, Gajila yeah. Horn <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> And then they all laugh. It's definitely not a thing. <clears throat> so like if they don't have an official way, then it, I'm I'm calling it basically call it whatever you want i guess i don't know i think the per, per, the correct would be yalahorn because of the the j Possibly. but i don't really care because yalahorn so. 
<laughs> yeah. Jellyhorn. That's Jelly. what, that is Jelly the official horn. pronunciation. <laughs> Jellyhorn. So Yeah. Yeah. I think this update will probably come <clears throat> in the next week or two. Yeah. Yeah. Sometime either late next week or early the week after. Just I don't know. Very exciting. Once they like release the patch notes, usually it's out like that day or the day after. So, I we will hopefully be able to mute our music very soon. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Crota is not gonna freaking stand up immediately and whack everyone. Minotaur is not gonna have regening health. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Yep. So, let's see. Um, it will get teleported randomly in the ACO and True. Counter. Cause that freaking is weird. It's it's the weirdest when you're teleported with the detain. That's the yeah, thing weird. that too. That's not the worst though. The the uh, the sword disappearing is the worst. I think uh, there's that, and then there's like your one time minutes away from killing Atheon, and then then you get killed by the regening Minotaur. Yeah, the regening Minotaur was pretty horrible too. That was that was a definitely a tie with the worst, I would say, or a yeah. close second. Yeah, at least with the disappearing sword, you can regroup and try again yeah yeah that's true but usually you don't get the chance like flawless raider the sword just disappeared and that ended one of our runs it was like okay but uh <laughs> that was horrible so let's cover these three pieces of actual gaming news and then we can talk about this article i have right here which is games that are at e that are gonna be at e3 and like confirmed to be at e3 so this is gonna mm. be I'm very excited for this article. It looks really cool. Cause, dude, I am so freaking excited for for E3 this year. Yeah, E3 is going like, to be Like, honestly, I'm dying. <laughs> it's like what, two months you away. Have a link? Yeah, I'll, I'll put it in. But, um, Witcher 3, they announced, oh, they announced their expansions, which is interesting. The interesting thing about this is that they talked about multiple times how they would be they would be they're like taking a stand against paid dlc so everyone was like but but now you're releasing expansions and apparently the developer they were like we're there's a big difference between expansions and dlc so when they say dlc they're talking <clears throat> about like horse armor and swords and you know stuff like that right. which they're actually going to be putting out for, for free they're going to be putting out a mm. lot of little content like that for free which That's is true. they're taking a stand against paid DLC. Yeah. But these two expansions are like 10, 15 hours each. Huh. The, the Witcher 3 is going to be freaking humongous. Yeah. It's going to be like 300 hours by the time everything's done, said and done. Uh, are you getting The Witcher? Y yeah. You are? Yeah, I I, I don't so. think I am, like I dude. A lot of it appeals like, to me. It's like a better Skyrim. It's like a better Skyrim. Yeah, but that can be said about a lot of games. I don't know. I might get on PC. I don't think my PC could handle it. Though. I don't yeah, know. I don't know, dude. Uh, like, I don't know. That's what that's what I thought Dragon Age but was. Yeah, I'll get on PC because <clears throat> that's a game that is like focused on visuals. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Witcher Three is too big. Like I don't. I've I've gotten actually. I've actually you watched the trailer yet. Oh no, we can watch that oh, dude, if it, you want to find it. It tells you everything you can do in that game. Ow. It's insane. Um, in yeah. That deal with blood and sacrifice. Dang, <laughs> blood and sacrifice. <laughs> kind of weird. <laughs> it sounds like Bloodborne, mate. But. Yeah. I, I don't know. I've started getting into RPGs, and I actually have, <laughs> and I really like them, and I like how big the worlds are, but, like, 200 hours? I just, I you're just You're still can't. worried about that 200 hours thing. That's just with, with all the extra stuff. The, you're probably only gonna get, like, The main story is hours probably... From yeah, but, like, I don't know. You've seen... I'm very much a completionist. I like doing. It's like that's a, why it's I like love no RPG single player. Yeah, no. But that's why I love Infamous so much is because it's this giant open world, but it's not so big that I like. 
I don't know. I like Infamous because it's this big, it's this open world, but I can do everything. Yeah. I can See, do I'll you, I'll everything. It's great. I, I, I will it. not be able to do everything in this game. If you, if, <laughs> when, you watch, when you watch this trailer, you will get a giant freaking... Uh, oh, no. No. <laughs> oh, that. Okay. But, <laughs> um... <laughs> What, what was it coming a, a giant <laughs> the boner freaking... threw you off <laughs> completely threw uh, you off reminder of like assassin's creed all you think is like assassin's creed and it's awesome speaking of assassin's creed have i mentioned how much of a disappointment unity was in the last couple of days yes. because just tossing that, that out there I dude, I was planning on it before the game came out. Then the game came out, and I was like, oh, I don't know about so this. <laughs> yeah, um, is that game? I know I've said it many before, but I wanted to say it again. Love the combat. Besides the smoke bombs, that's that, that, that thing. Smoke bombs. Uh-oh. Smoke bombs would be. If smoke I platinum bombs. any Assassin's Creed, it will be four. Four is starting. Four I think it's best. one of my favorite, honestly. Four is the best when it's it comes solid. to gameplay. And it has a, I like the, the storyline is kind of cool. So far. The story is cool. Story. It's just not an Assassin's Creed story, but, you know, it's yes. a cool story. Dude, I don't know. The, that, that franchise was honestly a <clears throat> masterpiece to me until right. 4. And 4 isn't a bad game at all. It's a great game. But it just completely took it off track. It's kind of like it's kind of like Battlefield Hardline. A lot of people don't think a Hardline should be a Battlefield game. They should just it should just be called Hardline. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel. I kind of I kind of see what you mean. Yeah, but yeah, okay, Assassin's Creed. Oh god, dang it! Yeah, I could go on about that forever (laughs) because two through three was amazing and in so many ways just freaking masterpiece. Ugh. Oh well. <laughs> so do you have this Witcher trailer? Yeah. Do we want to watch it? Um Yeah, sure. Uh I mean, we got it, time um... because no, I don't have it. All right, I'll, I'll I'll get it. We <laughs> have time because freaking uh there's no arrow and there's no flash and there's no walking dead to talk about. So we have right. time to talk about games as Oof. long as we want. All right. Um it's a it's a bummer I'll, that there was no in, um, arrow or flash, but the thing. <clears throat> All right, let me. And, um, I'll just be at zero okay. seconds. <clears throat> Parental advisor advisory. <laughs> <laughs> Parental advisory. <laughs> advisory. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's put that out there. There's a lot of screwed up things in this game, and the, the like making love to mermaids. Maybe <laughs> I'm not even like. <laughs> no, I that I'm being for real. That's what I'm saying. I bet that's in this game. All right, I know you can. There, remember the there was an IGN article that said that this game has like 50 plus hours of just sex. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. So that's the thing. Oh, it's um, all optional though, of course. Yeah. All right. Uh, a lot of it's optional, I'm guessing. Three, two, one, play. I guess. Rated M for mature. And then for everything. <laughs> At CD Project Red, it seriously does look fantastic. Both legendary oh yeah. This is why I wanted it back in the day. To tell you stories where breathtaking. Oh, uh, uh, doing it on the back <laughs> of a horse, not a big deal. <laughs> Freaking magic uh, coming with clothes. Even racism. Racism. Even racism. It's this very vision that we've realized in our most ambitious project to date. The open world of the Witcher Wild Hunt. Game is freaking ridiculous. In like such an insane good way. The northern realm span a vast continent filled with remote outposts, quaint villages, and bustling cities of astonishing wealth. Varied landscapes will see you riding into mountain valleys, sailing the open seas, and exploring oh forgotten yes. temples. However, <laughs> this land is brimming with conflict. Racial hatred often erupts into violence, and war between the mighty has driven people from their homes. But one plague runs rampant. Monsters. 
Monsters? Countryside. Monster Hunter 4? Sewers, <laughs> and rule the wilderness, feasting on merchant caravans. That's where you come in. Ah, the Witcher. Should have expected as much. You'll play as a Witcher, a monster slayer for hire, mutated to have superhuman abilities. Superman. People might think you're a freak. Superman. But everyone can use the help of a professional. Close. Look so good. Vampire. Is it thirteen fifty eight yet? No. Then I'll call. <laughs> 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 uh, I love that. With the surrounding what? environment. He's a vampire, and he didn't want to be waking up until yeah. a certain year. Depending on the time of day or terrain. It's these shifting circumstances that will often determine if you're a hunter or prey. Clear an area of monsters, and you'll witness people settling in. Transforming dangerous areas into sprawling hubs where you can buy and sell gear. Hundreds of armor and weapon upgrades await you. But it's the way you fight that makes all the difference. Invest in sword skills to develop special moves. Level up your alchemy skills and gather rare herbs to create potions and bombs. Or master the arcana of magic signs and annihilate your foes with a twist of your fingers. She's returned, Geralt. After all these years. In the Witcher Wild Hunt, you take on the greatest contract of your life to track down the child of prophecy. A living weapon that can alter the shape of the world. All right, then. The good will die. <laughs> you might be a killer for hire, but you decide what kind of man you are. You gonna say who you are? Or do I need to look for you trouble with me knife? <laughs> Indulge your human side. How about I buy everybody around? Bottoms up. Or choose the path of a ruthless outcast, adhering to your own brand of justice. Go away, or I'll kill you. And watch the world <laughs> burn. <laughs> Whoever you are, in the Northern Realms, you'll find what you're looking for. Whether it's horse racing, getting drunk, oh my yes. following your heart, or just satisfying your passion. <laughs> <laughs> this game, dude. Brawling, discovering places of power, hunting treasure, or joining in ancient rituals. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's not weird or anything. Fantasy of our times. Welcome to the Witcher Wild Hunt. So you see, how it's coming out on May May nineteenth. <laughs> so one of the comments was like. Is it May 19th yet? No. <laughs> then F off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's so many games. Dude, seriously, we are like, we, we are born awesome, in like dude. the best time awesome. possible right now. Like, I, I, don't, I don't even yeah. care, dude. This, this really is amazing. Oh, there's so many games. Uh, oh. Dude, 2015, I told you. There's gonna be so much good stuff in this year. All I want in life is Persona Five. <laughs> Dude, seriously though, I was I was playing Persona Four earlier, and I was thinking about like, you know, normally I Google these bosses and like find their levels and deal with it. But in Persona Five, I'm gonna be playing that as it comes out. I can't True. do that. I have to figure out these You're bosses blind, myself. Going in Don't, blind. It's, oh, it's gonna be awesome. Oh man. Uh, anyways, Witcher 3 it is it is shaping up to be freaking insane. It is available for pre-order on the PlayStation Store. Along with, I wanted to bring this up at some point, but I didn't have a way to do it. So. Yes, Elder Scrolls Online is available for pre-order. Buy that Imperial Edition because you can play as any race on any alliance. You get a Hortus. Yeah, lots of good stuff. No, you play as an Imperial who can mine any alliance. That's what it is. You can also play on any race on any alliance. You get the adventure pack. Or the oh. explorer pack or whatever. Whatever it is. Yeah. It's okay. it's it's specifically for the PlayStation version. Like, go on the store and look. And, like, really? look at the information. Like, scroll through. And it shows okay. you some of the other stuff you get. 
you also get a PlayStation 4 theme. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna pre order that next paycheck. I'm next paycheck I'm going to pre order that and Arkham Knight. Speaking of Arkham Knight, freaking Gosh, Arkham Knight, dude. Game. Summer. June whatever. So many games. So many games. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost kinda glad that Uncharted was delayed. That's yeah. Too many games. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> Let's play, apparently. Let's play. <laughs> Twitter thing. Somebody yeah. followed me. Wow. XBL gold for free. Yeah. So XP Xbox Live gold for free. Wait, Thanks I can totally go on my Xbox. I should see what the free game of the month is. You wait, didn't you ran, run out of Xbox Live? Well, yeah, but if you have Xbox, if you have gold, you can download. Oh, that's the what I'm saying. Game. Didn't you run out of gold? Yeah, I haven't had it forever. Oh, well, then you can't download the free games. <laughs> Maybe. But yeah, I have gold this weekend. Oh, oh, it's like free I for know. the weekend. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, um, it's some good ones. One of them is Gears Judgment. One of them is Rayman Legends. I think one of them is AC4, actually. Um, um, let's see. Know. Game of Gold in April. Oh, dang. Xbox One has Child of Light for free. Yep. Eric bringing you that uh, Xbox news. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's for it. real, I'm, once I get my tax return in, I, I'm probably buying an Xbox One. Like, for real. Gosh dang it, dude. Mm hmm. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um. So, yeah, there's, there's a decent Gears amount of good ones there. Terraria. I already have Terraria, Terraria on Xbox 360. <laughs> so, yeah, Gears of War Judgment I heard sucks, so. I really? played the demo. So. I heard it. A lot of people didn't like the story. <clears throat> I wish I. That's also one of the games that I wanted to. Like, if I ever owned an Xbox, I wanted the to first play three Gears. Are really good. I have. Actually, like an unopened Gears of War 2 in here. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Yeah, I do. So, yeah. uh. Uh, Deus Ex. I do not oh, play these yeah. games, but there's a new one announced for PS4 yeah. and Xbox One. I thought the way they did it was pretty cool, too. I watched a little bit of that live stream thing Square Enix was doing. Could you explain that? Because I don't fully understand how I they didn't, did it. I didn't, like, watch the whole thing, but, like. <clears throat> For pretty much like a whole day, they had like this dude. It was like a, it was looping at sometimes. Like, it, it, he would do something new, and they would kind of loop. Yeah. And for a while, and then an hour later, he would do something new, blah blah. And it was just, it wasn't very explanatory or anything. And people were like trying to guess what game they're teasing here. Yeah. And a lot of people were right that it was Deus Ex. What I'm I mean, how did they do it? As in, like, how did it end or whatever? I did not see that, but I just know that um, at a certain point, I'm guessing they showed a trailer. Yeah, I'm yeah, guessing the dude that was like trapped in the prison was taken out, and then the uh, maybe a title, yeah. <laughs> a graphic popped up and be like, "There's like <laughs> that would be like so lame if like every hour he's like, "Oh, let me walk over here," and then like. At the end, it's just, oh, let me pick up this piece of paper. And then it zooms in on the piece of paper, and it just says Deus Ex. <laughs> what, a, what a horrible ending would that be. But, um, yeah, for real. I, I still haven't seen, like, the tease. Uh, what, it's what a the whole trailer. Announcement trailer it's was. a whole trailer. It's like a whole it's gameplay cool. story trailer. Oh, it's okay. apparently really cool. But I don't know. Pretty, I've never played a Deus Ex game. I am not e too interested because, like, I'm sure I will get interested the more I see about it, but for now, I don't see much. I'm trying to keep my distance because I don't want another good game to play because I got too many. So <laughs> I think you just need to get games out of the way, mate. What, do you, what do, do you mean? Beat games that can be beaten. Well, yeah, like but I also lanes. really want to play Uncharted and Platinum it, and then I'm yes, planning on playing Borderlands 2. That's what, that's what we talked about for like the whole first 20 yep. minutes, mate. I'm doing that now. It's great. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. Deus Ex, if you're interested, that is... Uh, I'm sure they'll have more about that at E3. We I should guess. talk about that list of stuff at uh, E3. We should talk about Black Ops 3, mate. Okay. Yeah. Because that's pretty cray. Oh, crap. I just deleted yeah. my bullets. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. I, I would... I don't know. I'm kind of with Ryan on this one. He, he didn't really like the XOs. I... I think exos are cool for like zombies and stuff, but <laughs> after the a while, part for exos. A lot of people like it though. I I really like 
I've seen some a lot of people play Exo Zombies and it's pretty cool. Yeah, but um, it's not as cool. Because you get more mobility. mobility. You um, don't need regular more mobility. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying though. I just don't agree. I don't know. In, I think it's way in better most for zombie players. games. You're just training around and exactly walking I, around I in that. circles. Yeah, but <laughs> that's what I want. <laughs> that's I what know, everyone like wants, my, but no one like gives it to you because it's too easy. But that's what everyone wants. Like, for real, Treyarch, like, everyone trains. And Treyarch, as they started making more maps, they started taking out train spots. That's why the earlier ones were the best. Because then they started, like, just making freaking pieces of crap Shangri-La where it's all tight corners and oh, this mm. piece of crap. But, yeah, I mean, I don't have anything against Exo Zombies. I just, I really like Exos for multiplayer, and especially for the campaign. I like Exos. I, I got nothing against Exos. Uh, <clears throat> the Exos were fun for like a, a while, and then it's just it's such a steep learning curve for me, at least. Because I, I, at first, I'm you just not don't very like good. them because you suck at it. Oh, I no, suck at Call of Duty. I'm not good at it. Uh, but you usually uh, are, and this one you weren't. Maybe that's what we're getting at here. <laughs> no, you usually I, are, though. I'm not good at any Call of Duty besides maybe Modern Warfare 2. You're mate, no, dude. You're right even... in every Call of Duty. We jumped on Ghost, <clears throat> and for your first match, you're like, "Oh, I got a 3KD. This wasn't hard." <laughs> that's when the game first came out, and I was really I was playing with freaking attack knives, and those things are cheap. <clears throat> So you got a 3KD with tack knives, that's what you're saying? Yes, I am saying You're that. good at the game, mate. No, that <laughs> was really like when good. the game came out and I played it for like two weeks straight and then I was kind of good at it. <clears throat> Don't listen to him. But then I went He's back and played it and I absolutely suck. <laughs> Everyone found, every, has found the best gun and all the exploits and the mm. FPS sucks. <laughs> yeah, Ghost really did have FPS problems on PS4, it was weird. It's really weird. You can't have FPS problems on a freaking on FPS. Call of Duty. <laughs> ah, I see what you did there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so basically the way that they announced this though was that they 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 put I don't even know they put like a Snapchat symbol in Black Ops Two or something, and then like they added somebody like added that Black Ops that Snapchat account, which led to like this little Black Ops Three teaser. Which led to them actually putting out a trailer and confirming it on their Twitter. It's very cool. Well, I'm gonna reset my mic or <clears throat> yeah, camera. you've been like that for a bit. <laughs> I've been on Ghost You every now and then, but yeah, Black Ops Three, Treyarch Zombies. It's coming this this fall. That's, That's about pretty... all I'm excited about. Just Bro, Treyarch Zombies. Probably not gonna get it. Treyarch Zombies. I'm getting it. <laughs> That's <laughs> all I have to say. I like Exo Zombies too. I, the first map wasn't that great. I'm excited for the oh. new map to come out. That now that I think cool. about it, I was really good at Black Ops too. So <laughs> I sniped a lot. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I played a lot of Black Ops too. I got Black like. Ops 2 was like I was not a big fan of Black Ops 2. Mainly because I was just playing other games fun. by that point. Oh, but yeah. it, I'm, I'm not saying it was a bad game. I'm just saying like. <laughs> I didn't play it as much because I was. That was around the time where I was like, yeah, I'm kind of done with yeah. this Call of Duty multiplayer thing. Right. Um, but the zombies were apparent. I see. My problem was I did not have the season pass for that, so I did not get no, zombies yeah. as they came out. I played them now, and they're <laughs> actually really good. But I didn't have them when they uh, came out, so I missed out on yeah. like being a part of that like I was with Black Ops 1 so I'm not making that mistake again I'm gonna get that I'm gonna get the season pass hopefully if I'm not if I don't if I'm not broke and have no money <laughs> which is possible <laughs> but because so games. yeah dude E3 Great. we have a list of games here this is ridiculous I just looked these, through this I'm like oh my gosh these are not absolutely confirmed though like if you read the front things <clears throat> um, the only uh, ones that are confirmed have an asterisk by them this is basically like very much really, assumed slash like yeah. you know wait why is why is wait the ones that have the asterisk are confirmed yeah so only four is why is Halo 5 Guardians there that's pretty much confirmed yeah but they haven't <laughs> They haven't officially know. announced, I guess, but yeah. yeah. Um, so you know, this is just mainly like you know we're we're figuring out. Um, 
Yeah, this list contains both games likely to appear at E3 2015 that have been previously announced by a developer and publisher and games that have been confirmed to appear. Okay. So, AC Victory, the new Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Border oh, Land three. <laughs> Borderlands 3. Yep. That is a little bit of a stretch. No, it's not at all. What? I think it will happen. Yeah, but it's definitely like they they have they have not <clears throat> said anything about that at all. Except for they literally like put out that they were hiring and that was it like a month ago. <laughs> So I don't think I don't think we're seeing anything about that. And if we are, we're seeing. Oh like, no! Wait, who's hiring? Who do you think was hiring? Because two K does more than just okay gearbox. Okay. All right. I thought you were about to say two K, but then all right. no, gearbox. Two K is a publisher. Yep. Um, Crackdown for Microsoft. Don't fully know what that is. That's the next one. I played one Crackdown PC. one. I played Crackdown one, and it was. It's a weird game. I, it's an RPG. It's kind of. It's like a weird. It's like a more serious GTA, hmm. with more. It's like a futuristic. Type. Interesting. Really weird. But, the division yeah. for uh, Ubisoft. Oh my gosh. Which is gonna be crazy. I Doom. am hoping so Defense. much for a freaking division. So. Division's gonna be good. Um, Fable Legends, Forza Six, Gears of War Four, Halo Five Guardians. These are the big uh, Xbox ones right here. Like those that yeah. I just listed. Fable Legends. Forza 6, Gears of War 4, and Halo 5 Guardians. Gears of War 4, by the way, I think is a, a tiny bit of a stretch because they have not yeah. officially done anything about that one either. Um, Homefront 2, The Revelation. Revolution. Yeah, only been, there's only been like a freaking trailer for that. So, yeah. I think. For what? Gears? No, uh, okay, Homefront. I was about to say. <clears throat> Just Cause 3. That That's probable, definitely. I would say that. Kingdom yeah. Hearts 3. Maybe. Maybe. Lego Jurassic World. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, Mad Max. Yeah. Okay. We saw Mad, Mad Max yeah. like last year, I think. Yeah, we saw the trailer or whatever. Mario or Maker Wii. for the Wii U. Mass Effect <laughs> 4. Remember that goodness. No, Mass Effect 4 is still very early. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think maybe Metal... next year. Yeah, maybe. Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Minecraft Story Mode, Telltale. Yes. Yeah. Um, Mirror's Edge 2? Yeah. For EA, probably. They've been keeping that quiet. They've been keeping that quiet, so yeah. Definitely No Man's Sky. Oh, Definitely. Yeah. Persona 5! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Just having a little party. Uh, yeah! yeah! PS4 and PS3. Um, yeah, definitely. I think there will definitely be <clears throat> things about that. Oh, yeah. And hopefully the thing about that is not... Oh, we're sorry. We're delaying it until 2016, <laughs> which is possible. And you know, fine, make your game good. Yeah. I just really want it so badly. Uh, <laughs> Quantum Break for uh, <clears throat> Xbox One, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Xbox One 360, Rock Band Four, definitely. It's kind of exclusive. Um, yeah. yeah. Scale Bound <clears throat> for Microsoft. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei X Fire Emblem for the Wii U. Weird that thing. Persona and Fire Emblem crossover game, which is very weird. Um, Star Fox for Wii U. The new Star Fox. Um, yep. Star Wars Battlefront. Definitely. Star Wars. Oh, dude. Dude. Visceral Star Project. Wars Visceral Project. Is this like by Visceral? The yes, company? this is the game that Amy Henning is wording, working on, mate. Rider like of Uncharted Visceral, 3. The made uh, uh, Battlefront Hardline. Yes, and, and the what? guys that are really? making a Star Wars game, and the guys who what? hired Amy Hennig, the writer okay. of Uncharted Three. Okay. <laughs> uh, we get maybe um, Coder Three. <laughs> uh, I love a Coder Three. <laughs> I love like how you said it with a cough, and then you're just like, I would love one. <laughs> yeah, with like good graphics. Yeah, the, the the two old ones are like so outdated. It's, yeah, it's quite it's true. Hard, it's kind of hard to play them sometimes. Um, Titanfall 2, I probably. Uncharted Maybe. 4, yeah. A Thief's End, probably, hopefully. WWE yeah, 2K16, oh my gosh. <laughs> Xenoblade Chronicles X and Yoshi's Woolly World. So those are, the, yeah. those are the big ones. I'm so excited for E3, dude. Like, for real. E3 is going to be amazing. Yep. 
I'm oh man, especially the Bethesda thing and Persona and yeah, I hope Bethesda's just pull out every single like put punch. Yeah, that'd be great. So yeah, Everyone lots of <laughs> everyone just falls out of their seat. Yeah, um, lots of game stuff <clears throat> that we got to talk about there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you want to talk about Daredevil real quick? And Hell then yes. I guess that can be it. Cause, and then the drop, and then we can go, I guess. Oh, yeah. So Daredevil, Netflix it's... original Marvel show, okay. in tandem with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, if you didn't know that. Before we go any, any deeper into this, <clears throat> now you know how, like, quality the Netflix originals are. Oh, they well, have, I've like, already so known much... that they're... Well, yeah, sure, like, but House of Cards and... And a lot of other stuff I've seen that are Netflix originals. They're, like, so high quality in terms of cinemagraphy and uh, <laughs> cinemagraphy. cinematography. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's... I agree. I've I've heard. I just, I don't know. I don't. I, dude, I, I feel bad watching Daredevil right now. I'm like, I should be playing Uncharted. What am I doing? So, <laughs> like, yeah. to watch anything else that's freaking, I don't know. I like shows and I like watching them. I just like video games better, and I only have a certain amount yeah. of time in you know yeah. in the world. So yeah, for real, Daredevil is it, a Netflix original. Uh, so Thirteen far. episodes in total, I believe. Um, yeah. Season one all released. Like they were, you know, it's a Netflix show, so they just released the oh. whole season. Yeah, you binge Thinking it. Thinking awesome. Um, I've seen episode one and two. Eric's seen one, two, and three. Mm-hmm. So good. So good. It's really good. It's really, it's good. really good. Like, all I want in life is for Arrow and Flash to have this have level that. of, like, film directing and freaking be in tandem with the DC Cinematic Universe. I can't stress that enough, dude. This yeah. is going to... This is in the Marvel Universe. Like, we're going to see another more. Flash you get that, right? We're going to see a Flash movie that is not Grant Gustin. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. I mean, I'll watch it regardless, but, like, come on. Come on, DC, please. Please. This is please. This is please. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, Daredevil's really, really, really good. Yeah. Really good. Like, I'm going to go play uncharted and then watch more of that tonight <laughs> there's no walking dead tonight so i'm just gonna just watch sad, more daredevil sad day yeah no walking dead Freaking walking dead get me back <laughs> you like all our shows are like depleted except right for arrow and flash they're coming back this week and yeah we'll have right. arrow and flash to talk about next week they're coming back this week and then we'll be going straight through until the finale of each one if we have another break we should riot Oh, we will, because they have confirmed that there will be no other break. So if there is another break, I will literally murder children. Maybe that's a little <laughs> rough. Maybe maybe that's a little too far. But <laughs> Still, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's What's totally ridiculous. What's all these ridiculous. breaks? Seriously. It's seriously ridiculous. I, I got really mad after they did the first one after the uh, mid-season, and then they did, like, two more. I was like, yeah. all right. I got yeah, really upset. Like, there was, like, and that then they one did it again. break. And then again. And then... Yeah, they did the mid-season, and then they did another one, and I was like, oh, come on, this is unacceptable. You just came back from the mid-season. I really right. want to know what this story is about. Just air it through to the finale. And then, like, <clears throat> they did it again. I was like, all yeah. right. And then again. <laughs> right. So, GG. But once they come but back, why? we won't have to worry about it. I'm getting a phone call. I mean, okay. There was one. Okay. You're going to take it? <laughs> I'm considering... Yeah, I'll be right back. We'll resume right. this in a bit. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> did you talk that whole time? Yep, I did. That is pro. D Before I muted my mic, could you hear me? Like yeah, when I was yeah, walking over there? there? You, okay. You, well, then that sorry. whole footage might be completely un unusable. Why? Why is that? Because I was walking around the room talking on the phone. And so? if you can hear me, it, no, I, if I, don't, I heard you for like uh, like five seconds. You came over and muted your mic. Yeah, but I muted my mic on Hangouts. <laughs> the, like it records from here. Oh. And then it records the desktop sound. What? 
I just read off the whole drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Well, it um, <clears throat> it was it might be very faint. I was walking like right like, <clears throat> along over there. So hopefully, and you were talking. So yeah. like hopefully, we'll we'll try and still use it. We I'll yeah, go, you over can go the, look at it. Go look at it after this and. I'll I'll go viable. over the drop real quick, like okay. super quick, just yeah. in case we can't use it. Yeah. But I'll try and use it. Um, let me find it real quick. Sorry. It's nothing really special besides like maybe Mortal Kombat. Yeah, Mortal Kombat. <clears throat> so yeah, dude, that was pro. <laughs> I thought yeah. we were just gonna like cut to when I got back. Nice. Yep. Let's see here. Did you did you remember to mention place that? Yes, Ryan's I was like Ryan Clemens Powerhouse. Okay, places <laughs> Powerhouse. Nice. Um. Okay, I'll do this super quick. Best of arcade games, <laughs> Digital Deluxe for the Vita. I was going to read all of them, but I was like, okay, there's just a lot of arcade games coming up for the yeah. Vita. There. <laughs> <laughs> Bloxic for PS Vita. Gradius uh, 5, PS2 Classic. Grand Theft Auto, the Trilogy, which is a PS2 Classic, which has GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. Which is interesting. Medieval Defenders for Vita, which looks like a little uh, tower defense type thing. Mortal Kombat X. For PS4, Tesla Grad for PS4 and PS3, which looks like a puzzle platformer. Titan Souls, which is the Spring Fever one. I think next week will literally be Shovel Knight. No, it'll be two weeks from now. No, next week. Next week is Shovel Knight, so get freaking pumped. Um, we are doomed for PS4. So yeah, that's all of them. I'm very yeah. excited for Shovel Knight. For real though, like I've heard about that game for like so long and it's finally coming to playstation right. platforms and i'm gonna just play it it's gonna be awesome because it's gonna be one of those ps4 ps vita cross by type situations mm -hmm. cross by cross save. Well, so is well, so is um titan souls yeah i might look into titan souls but i already have so many games maybe so it's like dark not. souls <laughs> <laughs> 2d uh, dark souls that's what it <laughs> eight bit <laughs> dark souls i wonder Dude, how awesome would a mod of Dark Souls be if it was just, like, completely 8-bit? Like, the same world, the yeah. same, like, camera, but just, like, an 8-bit character. It'd be so oh awesome. Be <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there we go. Hopefully we can use Eric's. If we can use Eric's, uh, the drop, we'll just cut to right here. All right. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. You got something random. You gotta have. Oh uh, yeah, I do somewhere. actually. I um, <clears throat> I have popcorn. Popcorn, white cheddar. The kind you get back, the white cheddar popcorn. All right. It's Those really are... good. Those it's a great are... snack. You don't yeah. have to pop it. It's pre-popped. It's pre-popped. So pre you got popcorn. Popcorn, and it doesn't taste like regular popcorn. It's true. Which it is does okay. taste different. It tastes different, which is cool. Yeah. yeah. And it's I'm, good. I'm down with this. Very salty. You have you have sold me. I would like five bags of your Wait, five have you popcorn. Ever had this before? No, I've had it before. Oh my gosh, dude, it's so good. Yeah, yeah. I've I've had it. Okay. Um okay. So yeah, I guess we'll see you next week. Be sure to tell your friends if you like the podcast, <clears throat> share us around, yeah. give us a like, give us a comment. Um subscribe because that's mostly what I do on this channel. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe on iTunes, give us an iTunes rating or review. Episode, watch us in the car. Listen to us in the car. Yeah, yeah, dude. Um give us a rating or review on iTunes or wherever you listen on your podcast service of choice. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess that is it. I'm gonna go get my butt kicked in Uncharted Three in the shipyards. And uh yep. Eric will never catch me in the trophy race of twenty fifteen. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>